What is good people? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto and in this episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can download a Bifrost wallet onto your mobile device and then you can send your songbird over to your Bifrost wallet and then you are able to stake the songbird and earn a passive income from the songbird while it's just sat there waiting for the snapshot to happen for the x5 token if you're not sure what i am going on about i did cover this in my last episode uh, so if you want to go over to my playlist and there you can see in the playlist of my youtube channel you'll see xrp airdrops how to set up a BitTrue account and buy Songbird Crypto. So with that being said, let's start with what we need to do first. So with the, with the airdrop, what you could do is you could leave your Songbird on the BitTrue exchange. We went through this last time and what will happen is on the 12th of December, they will have a look on how much songbird you've got on the exchange and as long as you've got 236 songbird they will give you one x5 token until then what you can do is you can stake your songbird and the way that is best to do it is by taking your own custody of the songbird now to do that you're going to need an external wallet and the one that songbird recommend and recognize and will do the snapshot from is the bifrost wallet so if you take yourself over to bifrostwallet.com which you can see up here then you will find a link to get it either on Google Play or the App Store. My best advice is to go to the website and then click on these links and then you know that you are definitely downloading the correct app to send your crypto to. Always make sure when you're downloading the app that it's come from this creator and it is looking very similar to this. You'll notice that the file that you're downloading is going to be about 10.8 megs and they are not going to charge you to download or install this wallet. So just make sure that you're getting the genuine app and let's get to open it. So when you've opened the app, you'll see that you have the option to create a new wallet. So you go ahead and you click on create new wallet. You accept the terms and uses and then it gives you this option. And you need to real pay attention to this and I'm going to explain why. As you can see on this message here, it says that it's going to give you a secret recovery phrase and that the phrase is to keep your wallet safe. So if you lose your phone or your pin, you are able to get your wallet back. It is a 12 word phrase. You need to write it down on a piece of paper. Don't write it down on the, in, in your computer because someone gets in your computer, they can get into your wallet. Don't have it on your phone, but you need to make sure that you can keep hold of this phrases because if you lose it you lose your wallet and everything that is in that wallet has gone forever as well now for security reasons it won't let me actually do a screen record for obvious reasons of the security phrase recovery phrase but i'll put an image up here of what it should look like this is what it's going to look like on your phone and my best advice for you at the moment is to really take your time as you do this don't rush it don't have any distractions don't have anybody around you take your time this is the most important part about setting your wallet up but once it's done we can move forward Okay, so you've set up your wallet now, you've done your recovery phrase and you've set a PIN number and then you get to this screen. Now what we're going to need to do is we need to press the middle button there, the up arrow, and this is going to produce two options. And this is going to enable us to send the Songbird tokens to this wallet, which is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take it from the BitTrue exchange, send it to this wallet in order to be able to stake it and delegate it to earn extra free Songbird. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click that middle button and then you will see where it says receive. You then click receive and what we're going to be doing is looking for the songbird menu and then when you get the songbird menu what's going to happen is you're going to get this. Now because it's on your phone you're going to have to click share address and maybe email it to your computer so that you can then take that long numbered and letters and 
to be honest, it's a bit too hard to write down. That's why I, I suggest emailing it to yourself because then you are able to copy and paste that number because if you get that wrong, that address there of letters and numbers, that means that your songbird is going to go missing. So it's imperative that we get that right. But don't be too daunted by that. It, you'll soon get used to it. But yeah, if you send that over to your to your computer, I'm now going to show you what to do back on the BitTrue exchange. So... You've set up your Bifrost wallet and now you want to send over your Songbird to that wallet. So what you've got to do is you've got to come back to your Bytru Exchange account. You're going to click on your assets and you're going to find where it says Songbird. And then you're going to click on Withdraw. Now when you click on Withdraw, what it does is it shows you what your coin or token is that you're sending. So you can see that it says Songbird here. It shows you the amount that you're holding and then here is where it says your songbird withdrawal address. So what you're going to do is you're going to paste in the address that the Bifrost wallet gave you. And my advice is that you should always check the last five to six characters and the first five to six characters of that address. Just cross-reference it with the Bifrost egg, uh, wallet and then you know that you, you, you're sending it to the correct address. Now, once you've done that, now, I know I've only got 79 Songbird in this, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. But what my suggestion would be, whenever sending crypto for the first time to a new wallet, never send all of your crypto. Because if you do quite get it wrong, then it's better to just lose some of your crypto than all of your crypto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick test send of 30 Songbird. But because there's a fee, I'm going to put 31 Songbird in there. And there you can see it says the cent amount is going to be 30 songbird. So what you've got to do then next is you're going to put your pin number in because you will have set up a pin number with the with the exchange when you were setting up your security. And then you are going to click withdraw songbird. And then it's going to ask you for some extra verification. So we're going to send over the email with the verification code. So you pop in the verification code that they do. And then you use your Google Authenticator. And you put in the code that that requires from there. Just for this extra security. And then you click confirm. And there you can see it shows you that you have submitted a request to remove the songbird. It is generally normally quite quick and you will see it go into the wallet fairly instantaneously. Give it a couple of minutes, maximum five minutes. Uh, sometimes the network can be busy, but it should never normally take more than five minutes. So as you can see now, our balance of Songbird has gone down from 79 to 48 Songbird, which suggests that the 30 Songbird has left, has left our exchange. So you can go ahead and check whether it's in your Bifrost wallet. As you can see there, it has landed. It shows you when it got landed and where it got received from. So because you know that it successfully landed there, what you can now do is you can go back to your exchange and you can withdraw the rest of your Songbird. So you just check that it is still the coin and token Songbird. You can click down on this button now and you will have the address there because you have sent that coin over to that address already and you know that it's safe to send the rest of your songbird so you click on max and then you've got to go through the same withdrawal process and there you go you've gone through the process you've got your confirmation that you've submitted and it says that it's going to be within 20 to 40 minutes but obviously you saw from last time it is normally quite quicker than that so yeah what we'll do now is we will go over to the Bifrost wallet and we will show you what you need to do with your songbird now because we're going to have to wrap it before we can delegate it and then once we've delegated it it means that we are then earning a passive income from our songbird okay so now that we've sent the songbird over to the wallet what we can do is we can log in and we can see that there is the 78 songbird that we have sent over now we are unable to delegate songbird as it is so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wrap this songbird so to be able to do that, what we've got to do is we've got to click on it. And then you, when you click on it, you can also see the two amounts that we sent. But you head over onto the top corner, click on them three dots there and click on wrap. Once you press that, you're going to get this message explaining what 
rap song bird is and how to do it so you can go ahead and click continue when you do that what you've got to make sure is that you don't wrap all your songbird because you've still got to hold some back to pay for the transaction fees when you give any sort of instructions onto the songbird network so i'm going to wrap up 75 songbird i'm going to click on there and click confirm and then when I have clicked confirm, it'll ask you to put your PIN number in. You put your PIN number in and then it's going to try and work it out. And it says transaction submitted. Once it says that, you can go ahead and call, close it and you can wait until that says contract call up there where it says sending at the moment. Once that is done, that means that you have successfully wrapped your songbird. There you can see it says contract call. So you can go back to the main wallet and you can see where it says wrap songbird now now you can see that you've still held back some of your songbird and you have the wrap songbird and we can now go ahead and delegate it but before we go on to delegate what i need you to do is i just need you to open up a web browser because what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to understand what delegators there are because there is quite a hefty list what you need to do to understand which delegator is best to put it on because it's not just as easy as getting your songbird, wrapping it up, putting it on a delegator and that's it, you don't have to worry about it. Well, you can do, but what might happen is you might not get the best passive income that there is possible because it comes down to vaulting power, which is from the amount of songbird that people have delegated to that delegator and if they've got too much it means that the the rewards are shared out over too much or they might not get rewarded as much because they might be seen as having too much voting power and then you've got to have a look at the reward reward rates as well to understand that when you put your songbird on that delegator you are giving yourself the best possible chance to get the most passive income from it so if you want to go ahead and open up a browser we'll continue so what you want to do is you want to head over to flaremetrics.io and what this is, this is going to give you all the values of the different delegators that you can put it on. If you click on FTSO and click data provider, what that's going to see is you can see it says Epoch 9, that's what we're on at the moment. And what you want to do is you want to delegate with something that's not got over 10% like Alpha Oracle, but under 10% but gives you the best reward rate. So you just gotta you gotta have a look through there and see what, what the best one is. So now we know what delegator we'd like to use, what we can do is we can go ahead and click on the three dots in the top corner, then click on delegate. That's gonna bring up this screen. You can see that you've got your rap songbird there and non-delegated. So what you then have to do is click on the bottom there where it says add delegation. It will then come up with a message about what delegating is that you can have a read through. Once you're happy with that, you click on continue and then what comes up is your list of delegators and because we've looked at the flare metrics website we understand that the best delegator to use is the one right down at the bottom which is the ftso.it that's giving you the best rewards so what you're going to do is you're going to click max because you want to uh, delegate all your songbird you're going to click OK. That's going to give you a confirmation again. You're going to confirm. It's going to cost you three cents to wrap it. Again, you put your PIN number in. Once your PIN number's in, it'll come back and it'll say transaction submitted. You'll go back there. You'll wait for it to show up, which sometimes it can take a little bit of a time, but sometimes it, it, it's quite fast. It depends on the usage on the network. So once you see this come up on your screen, basically you will be able to see where it says that you've now delegated 75 songbird, the rap songbird, and it'll also show you where the delegator is, so the FTSOIT, and that you've got 100% songbird uh, rap songbird delegated on there you can add other delegators on there should you get more songbird you can just add a delegator where it says add delegation there but basically that is it you are now earning a passive income from wrapped songbird and basically you don't have to do anything now you just sit there and you you just watch it earn um, rewards so and um, when that next epoch goes down to zero and you've got no days and no time left that's the end of the epoch and then you can claim your rewards but yeah that's about it for the video then guys and i hope you've enjoyed it 
I hope that you've found it informative and helpful and it's let you understand what you need to do in terms of being able to get Songbird and make it into a passive income. So if you have enjoyed it, if I could ask a favour, if I could ask you to give me a like, a comment or even better if you could subscribe to my channel and I will aim to keep you up to date and informed with what is going on in the world of crypto and blockchain and the potential of more free crypto. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you have a great day. Bye.